And in Nigeria, the National Sports Festival is our own, and it's a combination of all these other sports that I've just mentioned. So this is part of the ceremonies that usher in the National Sports Festival, which was instituted in the first place to unify the country. And Your Excellency, you are an apostle of unification of Nigeria. So. This is an occasion that is historical. It is on this note that I want to invite the, the Honorable Commissioner. You are going to have to receive this touch from the touch bearer and hand it over to His Excellency. That is the standard practice. Honorable Commissioner. It's still running. Your Excellency, the torch has arrived in most states, and Your Excellency is receiving it from the Commissioner of Youth and Sports. Your Excellency, Commissioner, please present. October 28, uh, 2022, by His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, the head of state. And we have been moving around the state of the Federation. We have completed the Northern Zone, and now we are in the South Zone. And Imo State happens to be one of the states. Uh, touch of unity signifies peace and unity. And when touch of unity comes to any state of the Federation, it shows the acceptance that the state is willing and interested to participate in the National Sports Festival. And now, the, His Excellency is standing here in person to receive the Torch of Unity, which shows that he is giving the go-ahead for Imo State to participate. So, we officially now hand it over to him, back to him, so that he will promise the athletes of Imo State, uh, our, of his uh, support, so that the athletes will go, bring the gold back to him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Singular Tower, their sister, one of our best and brightest. Shoma Jumwa, who is in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. The origin of a National Sports Festival was a deliberate policy by federal government to unite Nigeria immediately after the Civil War. And all of us are signatory to this policy. Confirm. So it is something that is an incumbent responsibility on every way many Nigerian to support. Because all over the world, nothing can unite a nation faster and better than sports. So I think I want to officially welcome the, our visitors to Imo State and uh, to assure them that being signatories to the policy that debated National Sports Festival, Imo State will not go by. We will recall, we will recall that in 2020, this was one of my first official assignments. And again, we are here 2022. I want to use this opportunity because since after your trip to Edo State, we have not met. I want to commend our athletes for the wonderful show that they did in Edo State. And also urge them to do better in Delta State. So we have received the touch and we have signed into the, first, uh, to the program. And I'm assuring you people that I'll give you all possible support. So, I want to also urge you to prepare yourself. I'm waiting for that day. I will see a boy or a girl from Imo State be the records of Shoma Jumwa. So I want you to put in your best. Because she is a hero today because she was once like you. And today she is a national name. That whatever you call her name, she doesn't need the introduction. So sports is so many things, is something that we can get so many things from. You can become a hero through sports. You can become a very rich man or woman through sports. You can be the best name in Nigeria through sports. You can even be the best politician through sports. So I'm urging all of you to take it very seriously and commit yourself to it. You are like ambassadors to our state, and if you go there, go there with your shoulders high and bring the best uh, medal that uh, is available in that place. I'm waiting to receive so many goods, uh, silvers, and uh, bronze. So by the grace of God, we will do well. So on behalf of myself, the people and government of Imo State, to the glory of God, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. On this note, on this note, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, immediately after the national anthem, you will carry the torch and do a run up to the face gate, and then hand it over to the federal like government. Johnson, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, the national anthem.